Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision-making specialist. And today is day 58 and it is May 12th, 2020. I'm here, not out on the curb collecting lunch, not out on the curb collecting flowers, not out on the curb period. I'm here inside. How about you? Where are you at? Maybe you've already wandered out into the wild new normal that you're designing for yourself. Maybe you're still in like I am. Wherever you are, I wish you well to keep safe, to keep healthy, and as many people as possible to be healthy safe and alive that's my wish and on this day of 58 i have been talking so much in the videos about your story and your legacy and i suddenly wondered how do you write your story We've talked about the story being a collection of memories. We've talked about having your favorite comfort memory. We've talked about what you want in your story, what you want in your legacy for to be rem remembered for, and whether your looking at your story in terms of your business, whether you're looking at your story in terms of your personal self, whether you're looking at yourself in terms of chapters of being a mom or a dad or a family member, maybe a friend, maybe a community member, maybe a global community member, However way that you're looking at your story or which part of your story, my question is still, what kind of a writer are you? Do you write just the minimum? Are you a bullet point writer? Are you a one, two, three, four, five kind of writer and always want it in order? Are you one that writes and focuses on the characters, on the people? Or are you more a writer who focuses on the events? And then there are the people. All different ways of writing stories. And for some writers, they, I'm not really raising my hand, some writers that I know, some people that I know that are writing their stories, make an outline with some amount of detail, some really detailed, some not so much, and they have an outline of this happening, and then that will happen, and then that will happen. Some even write the characters will say this, and then this, and then this, and they have everything really planned out. And it's just a beautiful structure, as if you were doing a garden or you were laying out a brick pavement or you were planning a project at your business. That story plan is exquisite. Somebody else will just kind of sketch out a little drawing or maybe they'll just write a few words to remind them of where they want this story to go. Some people just pack their computer, their pen and paper, their crayons, however way they write their story. Kind of tuck it under their arm or in their toolbox and they just wander off and then they write down what they notice 
And then what they begin to really notice is those pieces start to fit together and form a story. There is no way that's perfect to write. Remember, we're people of progress and everyone has got to write their story in their own way. It's your story. It's my story. It's their story. The one thing that I'm going to offer today, no matter how you write your story, is to pay a little bit of attention, maybe a nudging more than an eyelash, and that is how flexible are you with your story? I remember, at least from my memory, reading a long time ago about this writer. And she was writing these chapters in her book. And I want to say it was Joyce Carol Oates. I may be in error about that. For right now, that's how I'm imagining that it was. And one of her neighbors came in and she was draped over her typewriter and she was weeping. And her neighbor said, what happened? And she gave the name of one of her characters and she said, they died. Well, her neighbor is, was so empathic and said, oh, I'm so sorry. Is there anything I can do to help? Do you want a hug pre-coronavirus 19? And Joyce said, well, I'll be okay. And her neighbor said, well, that's a quick recovery. Joyce looked at her neighbor and said, it's one of the characters in my book. And the neighbor said, what? How did you know that person was not going to die? You're the writer. And Joyce said, I was busy writing here and the character died over there. And I was just as shocked as anybody else. I didn't plan that character to die. And what she had done as a writer is she had planned and she had left enough space, enough wiggle room for something just to happen. And then she would manage that part while the other was still intact. Now, I'm thinking that our story, my story, yours, everyone's, is really about our real life. Oh, we may think and make up some things along the way, or we may misremember. However, that story that we're writing, that plan that we have for the story, that outline that we have. What if, just what if, we had enough for us to feel safe and predictable, and yet we left room for something to happen, knowing, and that's the mindset of knowing that internally we were the ultimate writer and recorder of our story. It doesn't mean that we control everything. Joyce didn't control a character she was writing. We don't control everything either. And I think that's the one thing, if nothing else, that we can learn from COVID-19 and this era, and that is to believe, to want, to hope, to act as if 
we can make an outline for our life and that's the way it's going to be. It's not. So we write the outline we would like to live and then we leave that wiggle room so that if something happens, our story doesn't collapse, we don't fall to pieces, and we always know we'll be okay, even if we don't have the details of how. So actually writing a story is a belief, a faith, a mindset, and most of all, a story is a consistent moving forward, step by step, recording and planning and living that story with all its surprises, all its adventure, and all of the predictability. So that's a huge story that you're writing, and it's one that matters because no one will have a story like you. No one. And if you look at the bookshelf or you look at a list or you look at anything with books and titles and authors, do you want to have a space in there holding that, saying, well, that was so-and-so's story that they never finished writing, that they didn't honor, that they didn't keep intact? No, we want your story. Your story's got to be there. Otherwise, there's a volume missing in that list. And what if that volume has even one single page that somebody can pay attention to and their life will be better? Both your lives will be better. All of our lives will be better if you write your story, leave enough flexibility to go back and forth and then come to center. And that will be a legacy also. Ah, he, she never gave up, never gave in, and never sacrificed their story. What a legacy. All right, thanks for coming. Come back, subscribe, leave a comment if you will, and I will see you tomorrow. I will be here and my hand will be out and I'll be looking for you. Bye for now.